Left-hander Yusei Kikuchi is on the mound for the Seattle Mariners. This season, he has a 0-0 record. Two games he started, he's got two quality starts under his belt, so he adds up to 12 innings. Last time out, he was against Minnesota in Minnesota, where he went six strong, gave up two earned runs, gave up a home run, and threw 94 pitches. He's pitched in five games against the Astros and has a career 6.46 ERA against the Astros. Right away, two down, and that'll bring up left fielder Michael Brantley. Nice first inning for Kikuchi. You got to like that. A one, two, three, first. Nine pitches. Jose Urquidy on the mound for the Astros today. And Urquidy got the losses last time out Saturday against Oakland, but went six innings, which is huge right now for the Astros rotation. Seager, great road trip. Eight for 23. Two homers, seven runs batted in. Swing and a miss. A breaking ball in the dirt. Picked out of the dirt by Castro. He'll throw to first to get the out. And it's an efficient one, two, three inning for Jose Urquidy. So the Astros have their first base runner. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Swing at a ground ball, two hopper to short. JP's got it over to France for one. Relay to first, and it's in time for the double play. What a quick release by JP Crawford over to France in the middle of the pivot. So two outs for the Astros here in the top half of the second. Those are some kind of gold glove hands of JP Crawford. The Mariners start to make some noise here in the second inning. Here's center fielder Taylor Trammell. And Trammell hits it in the air. Right field, shallow. This is actually on the first base side. Guriel in the foul territory makes the catch over by the coach's box. And that's a big first out. One out, and the batter will be right fielder Dylan Moore. Dylan off to a slow start this year. Strike three call on the outside corner. Froze Moore with a fastball. And that is the second strikeout for Urquidy. Two out. So still two on, but now two out for Tom Murphy, the catcher, batting 182 in seven games, four for 22. And that's hit in the air to center right at straw. Backpedals a couple of steps, waiting for it, makes the catch, and the inning is over. So Urquidy gets out of a first and second no out jam. Kikuchi. Is allowed one base runner was taken out and wiped out in the double place, not giving up a run or a hit. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Swung on line drive on a hop to the shortstop Crawford on the other side of the bag with a shift on. He picks it. Holy smokes, what a start for Yusei Kikuchi. Right now he's locked into a scoreless game with Yusei Kikuchi. That ball's popped high in the air. Keeney says, Who wants it? Nobody sees it. And finally making the catch is Aledmus Diaz. He had no idea where that ball was. And Urquidy is happy because finally Aledmus found that. It could have been a little pop-up infield hit. It was up in the sky. It's tough to see right now. And just found it at the last second and dove just before that ball caught the grass. What a play by Diaz. Gucci, no runs, no hits. Base the minimum through four thanks to a double play after a walk in the second inning. Correa first pitch swinging finds some open space in left center field. There is the Astros first hit of the night. With one out in the fifth inning Correa a single in the left center. For the first time tonight the Astros have multiple base runners. So here's Alex Degote struck out in his first big league plate appearance. First big league game tonight. On the ground right side that's a base hit. Alex Degote a single to right field coming in to score Correa. The throw wide at third. Here comes Taylor Jones. He'll score. Astros lead 2 0 on the first major league hit by Alex Degote. Congratulations, Alex. Again, another moment that a young Astro will never forget getting that first big league hit here in Seattle to put the Astros on the board. How about that? Get it out of the way early. First big league hit, first big league RBI, and then it turned into a complete yard sale as a throw from Dylan Moore gets past Kyle Seeger over there at third base. So the Astros able to strike first. Still only one out to go to its second base for Chaz McCormick, who flied out his first time. McCormick rips one to left center field. That ball is down and all the way to the wall. Dagoti sprinting home, but he can walk home. And Chaz McCormick into second base with an RBI double. Three nothing Astros. Easy read for Alex. Also for Omar Lopez. Easy to wheel him around and score that run. The Astros going out there and barreling up. Kikuchi in this inning. So second and third, nobody out, and Urquidy facing Kyle Seeger. Seeger with runners in scoring position this year, hitting a smooth 500. Swing and it's lined into right field. Fair ball, base hit, rolling into the corner. Hanniger is in to score. Ty France comes rumbling around. Seeger a spikes first slide into second base, and Kyle Seeger just continues to drive in runs for the Mariners. It's a one-run game. 
career extra base hit number 506 and counting for Kyle Seeger driving it down that right field line to drive in a couple Mr. Double Kyle Seeger and the Mariners are right back in this ball game. What a start to the year for Kyle Seeger now hitting it 300 on the year with two home runs and now with 12 runs batted in man he's been something As the Astros have him all around and here's a led Diaz a little hesitation and a base hit for a led Diaz in the left field one run scores here comes to Goni. he's going to score two RBI single and the Astros regain their three run lead it is five to two what a big two out hit for the Astros and it's five to two now boy did they need that. We talked earlier about their hitting woes with runners in scoring position over their five game losing streak and that time I believe that was a change up from Kikuchi already a multi hit night for Mitch Hanniger a couple of singles he is the tying run at the plate there you go down the right field line Murphy scores JP to third Mitch Hanniger checking in again five three ball game a three hit night for Mitch Hanniger. Oh, it's a great piece of hitting right here. It's a slider right on the outside corner, and, and Mitch Hanniger just gets down low and, and still is able to have a nice level swing as he as his body goes after that pitch and drives it the other way into right field. His third hit tonight. One out, runners on the corners. Go ahead, run at the plate, Ty France. He swings, lashes this high and deep out to right center field. Back onto the warning track, two hand catch McCormick by the bill of his cap. Crawford tags, strolls home. Steps on the plate. It is now a one run game. Ty France, sack fly right field, 5 4 Houston. One out for the Mariners here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Breaking ball hammered left field. We got a tie ball game. And right going large here in the eighth. A line drive home run. And the Mariners, the comeback kids of 2021, just keep on keeping on. Line drive into the Houston pen straight away to left field for the Mariners their eighth consecutive game with a home run number one for Evan White it's now the Mariners five and the Astros five Taylor Trammell will stand in that's a ground ball softly hit right side Taylor off the mound trying to glove flip at the first can't do it and now Taylor is shaken up as he's hopping around on his left foot and he is in some pain. Tried to make a great play on that ball, nubbed off the end of the bat of Trammell. Ooh. Oh man, that ankle. Rolled that ankle up on the right side. Now they're trying to figure out a way to get Taylor off the field back inside the clubhouse. They're bringing a card out for him. Yeah. Now the pitch, and that's a ground ball left side deep in the hole, backhanded by Correa. Long throw to first on a hop, and it's in time to retire more. Fantastic play by Carlos Correa. Showing off that strong arm in the hole. Momentum carrying him away from first base, intentionally bounced that throw, just trying to get it in the direction of first. Game winning run, second base, JP Crawford plus speed. Here's the stretch by Presley. Swing and a fly ball deep into the gap in right center field. Here comes Crawford running third. Down the stretch he comes. He will score. Ty France with a walk off RBI single here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the Mariners come from behind to beat the Astros here at T-Mobile Park.